Let me close it. <laughs> Whoops. Hey guys, so I'm here at my uncle's house. It is Super Bowl Sunday and um, excuse my oiliness, um, I need to dab my face. I am sitting here at the dining table, literally doing my work. Um, I'm studying, or I felt out a study guide for my diabetes portion of it. I have a quiz on February 12th on hypo and hyperthyroidism and diabetes mellitus. So, I am just filling that out right now. My laptop is currently charging right over there. Um, I did this last night and I just like finished one more question. This isn't due until the 12th, but I plan on going to a concert the 10th, which is this coming Saturday um, in San Francisco to go see Maja Jordan. If you don't know who they are, check them out on Spotify. They're my favorite artists by far and I just love their kind of music. So I really wanna go, but I've been delaying purchasing tickets but I think I'm just gonna do it because I really wanna see them and I just don't wanna pass up on the opportunity. So I just wanna get all my work done this week and study for it so that I can actually enjoy going out of town and not worrying about studying. So I don't wanna cram, especially if I'm gonna go to a concert. Hey guys, so I am on my way back to my apartment right now. It is almost 11 o'clock, so I won't be there till midnight, but I actually prefer driving late at night because there's nobody on the freeway. Hey guys, so I am about to leave my house right now. I am headed back to school. Um, I've been here since 12-ish or like 11.50. Um, I took off my makeup because I just got tired of having makeup on my face. Um, but I'm going back for my- But I am going back for my Perry class right now. It is- Oh, I need to put my shoes on. So I have been here since six o'clock and it is 9.40 almost 10 and I've honestly been doing so much work here is my little checklist I've done so much work today which is what I'm about to print so let me just cross that off so, so I am at jujitsu right now um, I'm just waiting for Shivam um, I decided to come back into town today just to hang out with him for a little bit and um, yeah, since I don't have much to do tomorrow, I did a lot of my homework last night and um, I get to go to clinicals pretty late tomorrow or on Thursday I get to go to clinicals pretty late because I am at the wound clinic so I don't have to be there until I think 7, 10 or like 7, 30 or something. Hey guys, so I am so tired. It is 10.45 right now and I just put on my seaweed mask because my skin's been feeling kind of irritated, so I wanted to put on a mask that'll make it smooth. It's getting kind of dry, and seaweed's really oops, moisturizing. Right now, I'm just working on my study guide for my quiz on Monday, and these are the topics that we have to hit. So I'm just making my own study guide. And yeah, so I'm gonna go shower and probably take some ATI quizzes and then head to bed. Tomorrow I have the wound clinic, which is really exciting because um, this is the last week for rehab. I just have tomorrow and Friday and we're done. And then tomorrow I do the IV on my partner's arm. So like an actual IV. I am headed to my car right now. We got to leave early, but I had to stay back about, about an hour because I had to do some research on my patients. Today I was at the wound clinic, so I didn't get to be with my patients. I got to see a hyperbaric oxygen therapy session and it was really interesting. Basically you put a patient in there for about 120 minutes, um, 90 to 120. I believe it's 90 but on the paper it says 120 but the hyperbaric technician told me that it was 90 but the paper says 120. So I don't know but basically it's not like a last resort but you know what the chamber is supposed to do is pressurize oxygen inside of this like chamber it's almost like you know how you go into like a scanning a cat scan or something and you have to lay down well it's a whole chamber they can't hear out but we can hear them i don't know it's weird stuff guys and basically um the whole point of it is to increase the temperature 
of oxygen um, for the patient. So normally we are breathing 16% oxygen. In that chamber, it's 21%. And what it's supposed to do is kind of it vasoconstricts your blood vessels, which makes the blood flow kind of like harder and you might think oh wouldn't that just gush out of the wound if that's increasing circulation too much well no that doesn't happen but a side effect of this treatment is because there's so much oxygen it's kind of like when you're going up in the mountains this is how the technician explained it to me is that when we go up like in the mountains you know how we have always have to pop our ears it is um recommended and suggested to the patient to pop their ears as um, the therapy is beginning and once it hits that stable 21% then you don't have to like pop your ears because that pressure can cause um, like a rupture but that sounds like that word's kind of big not a rupture but like that is the side effect that it can cause like sinus pressure and yeah but the therapy itself is not supposed to hurt but the effects of it can hurt if you don't pop your ears 